Hello everyone, welcome to Exemplar Physics. We have a question here. The question is, the mass of the part of the string below A in figure is M. Find the tension in the string at the lower end and at A. So let us first understand the question. Here we have a block of mass capital M which is held by a string. The string here is not massless. The mass of the string below the point A is M and the block capital M is held to the string. So now we have to find out the tension at the lower end of the string. So let us call the lower end of the string be the point B. So let us draw the free body diagram for mass B. So here is our block mass M. So what are the forces acting on the block? Number one is gravitational force which is equal to mass of the block into G and the other force which is not allowing it to fall down which is the reaction force that is tension. This tension is acting upward on this by the string on the block. Since the net acceleration of the block is zero, therefore forces are balanced. Hence, the upward force is equal to downward force. So what is our upward force? Upward force is tension, downward force mg. So this the value of tension at the end of the string is mg. Now let us solve the second part. In the second part we have to find the tension at A. Now here the mass of the string below point A is M. So let us consider the system uh, having two blocks. One is block with mass M which is connected to block with capital M. So total mass, so this is point A. So total mass hanging A is capital M plus small m. Now let us draw free body diagram for this imaginary block. Downward force will be the gravitational force which is equal to mass of the blocks into G. And it is held stationary by reaction force that is due to string and we call it as tension. So tension at A let us call it as A. Now since the block is not accelerating Therefore, I can write it as upward force equal to downward force. So, what is upward force? Ta which is equal to downward force m plus m into g. So, that is the answer for the second part. I hope that you have understood the concept. Still, if you have any doubts in this, you can mention it in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and family members. We will meet in another video.